While zoos have been shut to the public, staff have been busy catching up on all sorts of housekeeping before they open their doors again. Here at Chester Zoo, one of those jobs is weighing all of the animals to make sure they're fit and healthy. With nearly 20,000 animals on site, it's a huge task. So how do you weigh a frisky lemur or a giant lizard? And more to the point, how do you get a massive seven-foot elephant onto the scales? Head Keeper Rich oversees the health of the zoo's six Indian elephants. What's going on there now? She just opened her mouth. So what Lizzie's doing there is just taking a temperature from Sundara's mouth. We use a laser thermometer and this is one of the ways we can monitor their health on a daily basis. They also check their teeth and tusks. It's incredible the way that they just lift their trunk up like that and open their mouths. They are just like kids. They're really eager. Right. And certainly when you start giving them little treats, they then learn to trust and respond to what we're asking them to do. Going over to the weighing scales now, the moment of truth. One by one, the elephants are guided to scales built into the floor of the compound. It's the turn of four-year-old female, Indali. She is now one, five, zero, eight. So she's just over one and a half tons. Wow. It's a good weight for a calf of her age. <laughs> On the other side of the zoo, the marsupial enclosure is home to a more unusual animal. She's a tree kangaroo. Yes, this is uh, Sangria. She's our female tree kangaroo. Tree kangaroos are native to Papua New Guinea and are highly endangered. Good girl. What's she got there? Bit of sweet uh, potato? Bit sweet, potato sweet potato, yeah. Sangria is very fussy. We'll give her something a bit more substantial to keep her busy. Sangria weighs in at 11.1 kilos. Yep, OK. That's, that's quite normal for Sangria. Her weight's good. And she's eating that egg shell and all, isn't she? <laughs> yeah, it's do. all going down. <laughs> <laughs> um, she does love the egg. Sangria is a dream to eat compared to one of the zoo's most difficult inhabitants. Jantan. Jantan, come on. Hi, Jantan. Oh my gosh, she's huge. Jantan is a seven foot long Komodo dragon. So hopefully he doesn't wobble my way plate too much because I want to get him a nice stable weight. You're going to come over, Jantan. Native to Indonesia, Komodos are the largest lizards in the world. And this one isn't playing ball. It's just that one back leg now, Matt, and that tail, isn't it? Yeah. Gosh. <laughs> but he's obviously realised that he can walk around the scales and why would he go on them? Yeah. In the wild, like many carnivores, Jantan would gorge himself on one big kill. So Keeper Matt has to try and match this feeding pattern in captivity. 50? 50 now, yeah. So it worked in the end, eh? Yeah, bang on 50, Matt. There you go. You could very easily overfeed a Komodo dragon. He would just keep eating, keep eating, keep eating, and you'd get an overweight fat dragon. So we try and keep him in good shape, and that's what the weight is supposed to help us with. From a reluctant dragon to some very eager ring-tailed lemurs. It's more trying to get them off the scales than keeping them on it. <laughs> Look at them! Keeper Holly has her hands full with this lot. In this group we have nine boys, so we have our own little bachelor group of boys. They're all pretty confident, as you can probably see. Yeah. Um, so this is the uh, lemur sunbathing pose. I'm going to join <laughs> them. How do I look? I mean, amazing. It's been a real treat to spend the day with the keepers as they continue to keep the animals safe and well until we can see them again.